My husband has been eating all of the mini marshmallows, so at least they're not going stale. Hello, hello, my name is Emily Crow from Crochet Creations and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to Vlogmas. This is gonna be like a little bit of a cozy tie up loose ends for Christmas type of a mini vlog. Life is getting really, really busy and honestly, I feel very behind. So it'll be good to kind of reset and kind of take care of things. We are kind of down to the wire a little bit. Mostly I need to rearrange Christmas presents and things. So I need to wrap my husband's gifts. I would love to move the gifts under the tree. We took them away because we wrapped up my daughter's gifts at the beginning of December because I didn't want her to find them in my closet. And then she kept asking like all the time if she could pretty please open a present and we were sick of it. So we hid the presents away. <laughs> and so she hasn't been asking again, but Christmas is just a couple days away. So I'm gonna bring them back out, I think, especially if I have my husband's presents as well. Ta-da, you can see we got presents from my grandma. So I would love to finish wrapping his presents. I'll tell you what I got him. And while I already wrapped my gifts for my daughter, she's three, I can tell you what I got her too. I also thought it would be a fun idea to share with you the secret Santa gift that I am doing for my work on my unit at the hospital. So I already got my secret Santa gift so I can show you a little bit about what I got and I'll show you what I am getting my secret Santa. So we're just gonna do a little cozy vlog. I've got my really nice hot cocoa with all the fixings and I'm just going to enjoy myself because there's a lot to be done. I go back to work tomorrow night and then it's go, go, go up through Christmas even. I'm a little under the weather. I worked like four days in a row after like a kind of a stressful week at work. And so I just kind of crashed a couple days ago and I'm trying to fight off this cold. And then my period started today. And so we're just going to take it easy. I was really hoping we would have snow sometime in December I think it snowed once at the very beginning of the month or the very end of November. And then it melted within like a day or two. So we have not had snow. And honestly, the high is supposed to be 52 degrees. Yesterday felt like spring. It felt like March. <laughs> so it's just a little weird right now. It doesn't feel as much holiday E. So maybe I'll have some music playing, some Christmas music, grab some presents, chat about Christmas gifts. So this is what remains of my Secret Santa gift that someone gifted to me. I opened it early because I needed an ounce of serotonin after working four 12 hour shifts in a row and switching from nights to days. I'll tell you a little bit about what I got. We filled out little questionnaires. So they got me a rock art kit, which is kind of fun. I'm looking forward to doing that with Georgia. I think she would really enjoy doing that with me. It's definitely like an adult level kit or like a young adult kit. It's not made for kids necessarily. So it'll be fun to dive into that one of these days as a fun hands-on activity with my daughter. There's also like this lettering kit. So there's like a project book for practicing things, little sketchbook, some markers, definitely on the cheaper side, but I do have some nicer lettering markers and it would be fun to just kind of play around because it's been a while since I've played around with lettering stuff. I also got, these might be my favorite part, some cards and when i thought of stationery i was thinking more like markers and pens and things 
but I honestly do really need no cards. This one is so cute. And they're all blank inside, which is perfect because all I have right now are thank you cards and I need cards that aren't thank you cards. So that's perfect. And then I got this awesome set of cards too. Let's see some of the designs. So cute. I like having cute cards so I can just send little notes to people and I can do that more often now that I don't have just thank you cards. So that is actually perfect and they're really cute. Got lots of peppermints. Peppermint is like one of my favorite flavors. Anything peppermint this time of year is my favorite. Love it, love it, love it. And then, I don't know exactly what these are, but my husband and I tried them and they taste kind of like caramel, but a little different. We're thinking they might be dulce de leche, something like that, because it's the texture of caramel, like a really soft caramel, but it's definitely got like a more creamy flavor. I'm not super familiar with it, so I could totally be wrong. Got a nice hand soap. Can't have too much hand soap. There's like an evergreen spray. And I don't usually use like a spray in my house for scents. I have candles and stuff, but my husband actually mentioned with artificial trees, you can get those sticks to kind of scent things and make it smell very piney, but those wear out pretty quick. And I've noticed that with the ones that I randomly had, we use them. They don't smell good anymore. We can just spray that spray and then our house will smell like a pine forest again, which will be so nice. So I'm really excited about that. It was just kind of like an underrated gift. And then all of a sudden when my husband explained that to me, I was like, that's amazing because I never grew up with artificial trees. So it's kind of a new problem for me to have to deal with the lack of pine smell. All right, gift wrapping station time. I've got my husband's gifts. I've also got stocking stuffer things. That's why I have the box to help kind of gather the smaller items. So I'm going to wrap some things. I don't remember exactly how many like wrappable presents I have, probably like three, maybe four. I'm not quite sure. So I'm gonna wrap those presents and then set aside the stocking stuff. Also, I have to show you this is the wrapping paper I got for my daughter because she loves dinosaurs. So cute. So probably my husband's gonna get just this really old snowman wrapping paper. I have plenty left though, so it'll be good. Even for like that big package you can see right there. <laughs> this package is actually, what's it called? A snow thrower. It's like a snow shovel but it is battery operated. We do a lot of the Ryobi, is it the Ryobi one tools, but they've got like the 18 volt batteries and whatnot that you can use in various tools. And so we have a lot of those tools already. My husband asked for this snow thrower. So it's kind of like a cross between like a handheld snow blower and like a snow shovel that uses the same batteries that we have for his power tools. That is what this is. Very odd shape. This will be the trickiest to wrap. So I'll probably do like, it doesn't need to look pretty. It just needs to be covered, right? He also asked for a label maker. He wants to be more organized and I don't mind. I've always wanted a label maker. So I just got him one. I did not need to be told twice. <laughs> this one is actually like, what's it called? Like loop earplugs or something. My husband has ADHD and definitely has some sensory issues with regards to like being able to focus. And you know, when he's feeling overstimulated, he feels more anxious kind of things. And so these actually can kind of block out the sounds around you a little bit, but make it so you can still communicate. He almost always wears his headphones <laughs> to do that kind of thing. So having these like special earplugs that are made to block out like the excess of sound, I think will work better than just his like regular headphones. I'm hoping that it'll make it so that I can still talk to him easier instead of having to be like tapping on his shoulder trying to get his attention because he will like focus out and like not hear what's going on because he's got his headphones on to kind of help mitigate sound stimulation. So I'm hoping that this will just kind of like ease that. He's mentioned them and he was looking into buying them and he had not bought them yet. So I just snagged some for him and thinking that he might wear them for work at least part of the time because he works in the factory. If the the decibel coverage is high enough, I'm not sure if it is or not. I think he'll use them personally for sure and we'll see he might be able to use them at work even. 
Okay, I think the only other thing is Christmas jammies. He was a little boring. <laughs> and so he did not like a lot of the designs that I was showing him that I thought were cute. So he picked black plaid. And Georgia and I got some really colorful ones that have like a little bit of black on them. So I guess we could still coordinate, but Georgia and I will match. Dallin gets his pajama pants. So <laughs> these will wrap, we'll do, I'm not sure what we'll do because I'm working Christmas day, but I'm not working Christmas Eve or the day after Christmas, but we might move a bunch of Christmas up a day. So we might wear our Christmas jammies Christmas Eve. I don't really know what the plan is, but gonna wrap these so we can open our Christmas jammies and have like Christmas Eve jammies whenever we do our Christmas Eve. I don't know. And the rest is stocking stuff. We'll get to that when I'm done wrapping. I'm sure I have more I just have to look for it so that's what I need to do but I'm all done wrapping his big gifts I just need to wrap his jammies all right all the presents are wrapped for my husband I'll show you what I have for his stocking first off a hat I have not taken it out of the box yet but he really likes flat brim hats like completely flat and his are getting really old and a little bit grody. So got him a fresh hat. I saw this puzzle at the store. I don't even remember which store, but it's like a Thor's hammer. My husband loves Thor. That's like his big man crush. Okay, what is that beeping? Is that gonna keep going forever? It looks like they're doing some kind of construction, putting down dirt or gravel or something across the street. So this is when I'm filming this. So I do apologize about any beeping you may hear in the background, but that's the way it's gonna be. Thor's hammer. Mjolnir as like a little wooden puzzle, I guess. I thought he would enjoy that. I saw this, it's a dip mix collection. I found it at Walmart actually. And this just looked like a really fun thing to just like pull out a packet, make some dip and try something new. He is a fan of spicy flavors and just lots of flavor in general. So I thought this would be fun. He has lots of like hot sauces and barbecue sauces and things like that that we still need to go through. Like almost our whole top shelf of our fridge is taken up with things like that. So I thought this is nice because it's non-perishable and we can, you know, pick one as we want to for like a party or having family over. We're doing this like pseudo tradition. It's called Boca Flood or like Book Flood and it's Icelandic. And my family started doing this, my parents, a few years ago when we did Christmas with them. But basically, the point is on Christmas Eve, you get a book, you get chocolate, and you just have a cozy evening before Christmas, which is just like perfect vibes. So 
I wanted to do something kind of like that with my family. I mean, we've got Christmas jammies for us and I wanted to do like a little book or something that we can enjoy. My husband doesn't really read a lot of books and so he requested a puzzle book. So I got him a Sudoku book. So that'll be his book of fly book. I also got for his actual stocking, this Birds of Utah guide, which is really cool. In the past few years, he's really gotten into bird watching and really enjoyed using apps and things on his phone. I got him some nice binoculars last year. And I thought this would be a really nice thing to look through and just kind of acquaint ourselves with the birds of this area that we can look at whenever we go bird watching, which is like really cool and like per perfect size for a stocking. I saw this game. My husband's not like a party game and he's not like a fast paced speed game person either. But this seemed really fun and like a kind of game we could even play with my daughter. It's called May Contain Butts. So basically, you match the animal with the picture of their butt. Just thought that would be kind of silly to play with my daughter and it could be like kind of a family game. She's definitely not old enough to like understand rules <laughs> for games. I'm, I'm trying to teach her go fish and she doesn't quite understand. She like lays out all her cards in front of her so I can see what cards she has, but she's starting to get the hang of rules for games and so I think this would just be fun to try to like do a matching game or something with her. Just something silly. I got one of those like dust cleaning gel things that you use on keyboards and whatnot. Can't have too many of that. A little squishy cat. Mostly because it was like a two pack from Amazon and I was thinking that I might give one for my daughter and then her, she has plenty of stocking stuff and so she doesn't need this so I figured Throw that in for my husband. And then I bought from this Etsy seller. This is Slime Dazzle. We are recently into slimes as a family and we will sit at the kitchen table and play with slime together. My daughter really loves it. And so I thought it would be fun. They have this like Christmas sampler pack of these little slimes. And so I got a pack of four. And so each of us is gonna get a little slime, beef jerky, half pound Reese's cups. Cause my husband loves Reese's and he'll probably share with my daughter cause she's a mooch some chapstick, a little can cozy because he loves to drink cans of soda, our alma mater, BYU. That will be his stocking. My family growing up, we always went all out for stockings. It's where you put all the smaller items that are still like pretty personal or something that you think that person would really enjoy. And so I often got books, maybe jewelry or nail polish, little like craft kits, fun little like trinkets and toys and things like we always had a really good stocking growing up. I really loved stocking. That's honestly one of my favorite parts of Christmas is just getting all those little gifts. I think because gifts is one of my love languages. I love little gifts. It's meaningful knowing that someone was thinking of you when they grab something for you, even if it's something small. And my husband, on the other hand, and his family, his stockings were like an orange, some candy, a 12 pack of soda, and a box of their favorite cereal. Maybe like socks or like something like that. So definitely not as sentimental, if that makes sense, not as personal, more like consumable things rather than things to keep. With creating a new family, it's just interesting to see kind of how we take and leave things from our past lives. And I'm really trying to do like meaningful stockings for my family because that's something that I really love. And so a little bit of a step away from what my husband grew up with. I was thinking I was gonna do a stocking for myself cause my husband has a harder time with that cause he's not as gift oriented as I am. And so I thought I was gonna buy some things for myself but my husband's been telling me multiple times that he's getting me things and he's thinking of things and he's excited for my stocking. So I'm really looking forward to it and I have zero idea <laughs> what he's getting me. I do have a pile of things that I've like accumulated recently that I'm like, if I don't get something like a 2024 planner from me, if I don't get something for Christmas, at least I have one. <laughs> I gift things to myself too. That's my husband's stocking. I wanna to talk to you about the things we're getting for my daughter, but first I wanna show you my secret Santa gifts for the person I'm giving to. It is not wine, but this bag seemed to fit things the best. And so I think it'll be kind of funny. They'll be like, oh, what's in here? And it won't be wine. Sour Punch Straws, which is a favorite. And that's honestly why I had to get the very tall bag because these are a tall candy. Adorable notebook, some pretty pens. I love the G2 pens. This really, really pretty candle. This is so cute. It's Mistletoe and Mint from Patty Wax. Mm, it smells so good, but also like really cute. A lip balm and a little soap. A cute little gift, collection of little things because that's more of my style. 
as I said, stockings and whatnot, rather than having like one or two really big specific gifts. I like having lots of little gifts. So this is just about ready. If I find any tissue paper, I might stuff it in the top just to close it off. Yeah, so that's all done. I'm gonna put this away and then I will show you what we got for my daughter. Toddler time. I guess she's not really a toddler anymore because she is three. So she's more in the preschool age, which is wild. But let me show you the, some of the things that we got. Our big presents, we already wrapped. Like I said, we wrapped them at the beginning of December so my daughter wouldn't get into them. I have one thing that we have not wrapped yet that I think I am gonna throw under the Christmas tree or I might save it for the day after Christmas so that Georgia has something to open when I'm opening my gifts since I'm working on Christmas. But there's just this little like doctor's kit, a little wooden doctor's kit from Ikea inexpensive. She's just been loving playing doctors, dentists, etc. So I thought that she would love something like this. That might be a good present to put the day after Christmas. Her Christmas Eve Boca Flood jammies. This is the top. They're from Old Navy and these jammies sold out so, so fast. Oh my goodness. Like it was the very beginning of December or end of November even and they were sold out. <laughs> Basically, I couldn't find the style I wanted in my size, but I still got some. I just got like non-jogger flannel bottoms, but this is the style. So cute. And they have some black accents, like I said. So the black and white will be kind of tying it together with my husband's, but my daughter and I will match. I'm so excited. And oh, where's her book? Where did I put her book? Her special buckle flawed book will be Peppa Pig and the Christmas Surprise. She's obsessed, literally obsessed with Peppa Pig. So I think that she will really enjoy that. <laughs> and then other gifts that we got her, Costco coming in clutch. We got, there's like a painting, little ceramics type of activity box that we got her cause she loves crafty things. She loves painting. And so we keep constantly buying things for her to paint on. So now we have like a fun kit. She can make little ceramic figurines. So I think she'll really enjoy that. She's even been watching YouTube videos of them painting like ceramic figurines, which is, Wow, I did not know that YouTube kids had that on the algorithm, but my daughter's picked up on it, so she's been watching. We also have like a kinetic sand type of activity box for her with like different things to play in, like sensory items too, little like molds and things for the sand because she's really enjoyed playing with slime and sands and things like that. So I think she'll really enjoy that. Again, that's the kind of thing that like it's not necessarily consumable, but that won't last forever. And so we will love it until it wears out <laughs> and then we can move on to something else. Maybe more kinetic sand, probably. <laughs> and then we also got her two box sets of books. She loves Peppa Pig, she loves Bluey. And Costco had these like six book sets of hardcover books for Peppa Pig. So there's six Peppa Pig books and then six Bluey books that are really nice, this like little box set. And so we got one of each for her because I think she'll really enjoy them. So really excited about that. I think she'll really like that. And last but not least, we got her an Amazon Fire Kids tablet. We've been using my old iPad from college, which I probably bought that thing like nine years ago is my guess. So it's really old. <laughs> the screen flickers a little bit. It's a little bit pixelated. It's in that state where any moment now it can die. And we've been using that iPad for my daughter to watch television on. We don't have TV channels. She just watches YouTube kids. We'll put on like guided access and like block certain controls or like set time limits or stuff for her, but she can have ability to switch between shows and to like pause and whatnot. And so that's how we've been doing screen time with her. So we thought, it'd be a perfect time to upgrade to a fire tablet because they are more sturdy, they're made for kids. So we have that ready for her. So that's like her big gift this year. And honestly, they're not as expensive as I thought they would be. So those are her big gifts. Most of them are already wrapped. Let me show you the things I have for her stocking. And again, probably a little overboard, will definitely overflow. Maybe some things I'll take out of the packaging to fit into the stocking better. But that's the way my family always did it growing up. We always had things underneath our stocking, books, 
stuffy, things like that. Now she'll have a cute little Peppa Pig set. She's got like a really, really cheap, like came with a book type of set that's like smaller than this. Pieces are already breaking off. The paint job is really bad. They're like really cheap. So she's just got a nice sturdy set that's a little bit bigger. I think you can move the legs on them. Yeah, you can move their legs. So that should be a really fun toy to kind of like upgrade the thing that she has and she loves, but I'm kind of ready to like get rid of or move on from. Ta-da, might take this out of the package just cause the, back, the package is so bulky. I got her this cute little cat sketchbook. It's got little fuzzy bits on it and some of those like multicolored pencils. Oh, I don't know if I can show you in here, but where like the lead of the pencil is like multiple colors. So I think she'll have a lot of fun with that. Like I said, she loves anything crafty. Bath bombs. She loves a bath bomb. Peppa Pig band-aids. These don't need to go in our stocking, but they probably will because I know they'll bring her a lot of happiness. A new brush because we can't find her comb and we need to brush her hair. She loves dinosaurs also. So I got her. <laughs> I saw this uh, like Christmas dinosaur mug. She's been asking to use our mugs for like hot cocoa and stuff. And so I thought it'd be really nice if she gets her own mug. That's like hers, clearly. So cute little like, Christmas dinosaur. And I saw these packets of hot cocoa mix and I thought it'd be fun to like throw one in there. I got myself one too. I can throw on my stocky so I can have hot cocoa with my daughter and we can match. She'll love that. She's a Reese's fan, just like my husband. I'm sure she'll still mooch off my husband's giant Reese's, but she'll like this like Reese's candy cane look. And then I've got a bunch of like Christmas specific, like cheapy toys that like she can have fun with. And then if something happens to them, it's okay. We can throw it out or it can disappear and it'll be fine. There's this like holiday squeezer. It's got like those like water beads. She's a sensory person too, just like my husband. And so she has really liked having like fidget toys. So this will be a good fidget toy for her. Her slime, fluffy snowman from Slime Dazzle again. There's a little snowman charm in there. I think she'll really enjoy that. Ooh, that has a very fragrant smell. A little reindeer duck. She has a duck collection. Did you know that? Mostly it's been fueled by my parents giving her ducks, but we are continuing on that track. She's got some holiday related like little squishy things, kind of like the little cat squishy I gave my husband. I forgot I bought these. So when I got the cats in, I realized, oh, my daughter already has squishies. My husband can get a cat squishy, even though he's not necessarily a cat person, but he might enjoy the squishiness of it. And then there's like a little mini mystery squash mallow. My daughter loves squash mallows. So this was like a really cute find. Hopefully it'll be something cute. These are so tiny. I can't imagine it fitting inside there. It looks like it might be holiday related too. So that's kind of fun. It's always fun to have like little mystery gift to open from your stocking. Oof. So that is Christmas for my family, for my secret Santa, from my secret Santa. I am really looking forward to Christmas. I'm looking forward to stockings. I think we might do them on Christmas Eve so that I can still be there for my family because that's what I really care about is seeing my daughter's reaction to the stocking because I love the stocking so much. And in our family growing up, we always said that Santa gave us the stockings and all the presents under the tree were from mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, et cetera, et cetera. We are very blessed right now that both of us are working. And so we can get her some things for Christmas. And I do want to try and get her to go through and maybe declutter a little bit of things to maybe give away for Christmas. That's hard to do as a three-year-old, but maybe I can see if we can get rid of a couple things and pay forward and um, give them to someone else that needs some things. That's something that I need to think on. Time is running out, December's moving quickly. So hopefully we can get on that and also make a difference this Christmas season. Share a little light, share a little kindness as well. Not just within our own family, but to others too. Now I gotta clean up this mess, put these presents under the tree. So until next time, happy making, bye.